What is good hunters? Welcome back. Today we're going to hunt the impossible. The American black bear on ranger. As we all know, hunting on ranger is challenging when it comes to predators. So I'm going to give you the formula and basically how we're going to do this. Where we can be efficient. And this can be applied to any predator, or any animal if you want, for that matter. For new players, when we go into the encyclopedia, we're going to highlight our black American bear, and we can see it under age, where bears live a total of 39 years. Now that's huge. That's a lot. Willing to bet it's the longest animal to live that, to that age right so that's a challenge in itself that's a long wait so what we need to do is set ourselves up for success and the first thing we want to do is start with a clean slate so right now I'm on the first year of the animals life cycle so I'm on day two of the first year so no animals are growing no animals are spawning so I use that full three days to clean up my herds, to get around the map. I don't sleep at all. So I hunt a full cycle. This allows me to hunt in a fashion where I'm able to hit up all the herds that I want to hit in a timely fashion. I don't want to feel rushed or be fast traveling around the map, running around, jumping around. So I like to hunt very slow and methodical, so I need that time to do so. So what we're going to do is, when we encounter our bear, we're basically going to use our collar, and if the bear responds to it, we take him out. This allows us to see when the new year comes around and he responds, that it's a new year for that bear. It's a young bear that spawns in, and then we're able to track him perfectly so the the strategy here is that because we want to really make sure that the, the animal that we have is legit and what i mean by legit let's say we call this baron and we take him out he's a low genetic when the new year comes in and he spawns back in the hope is that he would be a better genetic sometimes it isn't it's a roll of the dice. So we got to call him in again to make sure he doesn't respond. And when we're certain about it, then we start tracking that animal all the way up to 39 years. And again, you can apply this to every animal on Ranger. If you want a clean slate, take the animal out and start counting then on. But overall, this task is almost impossible because we cannot judge age, we cannot judge how the animals look. There is no visual clue on the animals, so we cannot tell when something changes over to mature or a five star. We just don't have that luxury. And I would imagine in real life, we don't have that much either. I'm pretty sure there's more telltales in real life, but in the game, these models are pretty much all the same. So we cannot use it as a judgment. We have to rely on our callers, or if you don't want to use a caller, you can guess if that's how we want to play. Either way is good. So we got our bear coming in. I can hear the footsteps here. So we're going to take him down and we're going to see how much genetics he has. I hope he doesn't run away because my wind is not the greatest. But there he is. Very nice bear. 
we're going to let him come in. And when we get a nice broadside, we're going to take him. And this will be our foundation for basically growing our new bear, which we can track without a doubt. So we're going to wait. I'm going to assume this is the male because I'm assuming it's responding. Okay. Steady. <sighs> Okay, so I'm hoping that's a good shot. Let's hope I don't get charged here. Okay, that's close. But he looks wounded, so we're definitely going to track him. So I don't know where I shot him, because I think we lost that in the little unfuffle there when he's trying to charge us. So we gotta look for some blood first to see if this shot is even good. And that's a challenge in itself. So now we have no clue if that was a good shot. Unless we find some blood. That's really our only hope. We're not getting anything yet. I'm pretty sure he was up on this hill somewhere. There we go, we got some blood. So you see how flat the blood is? I think that's a good shot. Okay, so that's good to know. So now we heard the other bear, so we can actually go in that direction. Because they usually run together. If all else fail. So we got some good blood there, we just don't know where it's going. Now you can change the color of the blood if you want. But we're gonna leave it on red, again for the extra challenge. But you can change it to magenta or blue or whatever suits your fancy. But I love to track and I also need some challenge in doing so. Yeah, that's some good blood. And that's basically how you get a handle on where animals go. Keep tracking the blood until you, you find like a nice rhythm. Like we have here. So I'm not sure if this is the blood where he turned around and he came charging at us. It seems that way. But we're going to follow it. Yep, so he came down the hill charging at us down here. We 
dodged him, so I remember he came into this little bush area right here. I think he went up the hill. Okay, so our blood trail kind of ended right here. Yeah, so he has to be in that direction. Which we got some blood here. So I'm hoping that's the correct one to lead us in that direction. Got some more here. So it's kind of hard to see, but again, if you take your time, you can locate it. It's all about taking your time and really slowing the game down. You don't want to rush anything because then you're just going to be frustrated, right? The goal is to become a better hunter, better understanding of how to track your animals. So it's a little bit tougher now because it's just after maybe 2 or 3 p.m. in game. The lighting is not the greatest. Some darkness is coming, you know, eventually, so... You will have better luck depending on the time of day. So this guy is running pretty far. Which means it wasn't the greatest of shot, but we have a lot of good blood. See how frequent the blood is. Which is a good thing because sometimes you don't really get that. Depending on your shot, that can be a whole different ball game. And the animal will change directions abruptly, so you have to take it into consideration. You'll often find yourself getting to like a dead end and you're like, well, the blood stopped it or it disappeared. That's because probably the animal changed directions on a whim. There's our guy. So 27 meters out. So it registered as a hard shot, partially. A lot of energy went there. We got a right long, some left long, we got some flesh. That's a beautiful shot right between the rib. So it's a female that came our way. So that's not good. We want to get the male. Huh, that's interesting. That is not good. Now we got to find a male, but I don't know where he is. I know he made some noise in this direction. But he's been quiet. Okay, I think we spooked him. Shoot. It would be awesome to get some eyes on him to see what direction he went in, but due to our situation here, we can't see that. There's no luxury of that. 
I'm a little surprised that was the female. I really thought that was a male that came in, but maybe she was just the closest. You know, maybe she was not even responding. She was just simply closer to me. And I got lucky that she came in my direction, but she probably wasn't responding at all. So I hear him over here. Now the dilemma is that we're going to try to call her if he doesn't respond. Because we spooked him, there's a chance that we may not get a response. So then I got to make a decision that do I take him and risk it? Which I think I'll have to. Probably won't have a choice if he doesn't respond. I'll have to bite the bullet and just take him out and just start fresh. That's what I'll have to do. Just be aggressive and treat it that way. I just need another call from him to see where he is. There we go. So let's use our caller. Let's see how this develops. That's what I want. I want a really nice five-star American black bear. Hopefully in the mid-90s. 95. You know, in a perfect world, I would like 100%, but these bears take a very long time. And I like it. I like that not all animals are just, you know, growing all at the same time in a sense of for how long they grow. I do think we need some animals to sort of be longer. Maybe be shorter. Break it up a little. Some animals you gotta really invest some time in them. It's just not all the same thing, right? At least that's how I feel about it. I got no problem with bears living this long. But for a player who doesn't have time or whatever the case may be, that may not be ideal. So I get it. We have made, you know, remarks about it in the Discord and they have not changed it. They don't seem to be interested, so... Seems as if this is how they would like it to play out. Okay, so no sign of this bear. We're gonna have to get some eyes on him. Take it slow. Because I have no clue where he is. Is he over that ridge? Or directly in front? Getting dark. Visibility is going to be very low. There we go, so we're hearing him now. Okay, so he stopped.
So I'm hoping he's coming up this way. Come on, buddy, where are you? Because we're going to have to take you because I'm not sure what you are. I just got to hope that you're responding. white texture on its underbelly. Oh, that's interesting. I've never noticed that. Well, we messed that one up. Well, that was a panic shot. That was no good, obviously. That is not how I wanted that to turn out. So why did he run? Okay, so my wind is not best. That's probably why. Okay, then we're going to track him down. Didn't expect him to run off like that. And I sure as hell was not going to take a frontal on him. So based on the sound, it should be directly in front of us. So I'm just going to take this straightforward direction and see if we bump into him. Usually when they run away from you like that, your wind is not good. Because he should have been able to just stay there and turn around. Waiting for that broadside, but we didn't get that. I would like that to be in the game where the animals will just not just stand there. That even if the wind is good or not, that they would at some point they would just take off. But that's what we got right now. And so far from my experience, they run off like that when the wind is not good. So they smell you. And they run off. So I didn't anticipate that. So that was on me because I didn't even check to see what my wind was like. Usually I just look up and I see the direction. So we're not getting any calls. No. And I'm hoping that this is the direction he came in. Because it's getting pretty dark. I'm not hearing him. Yeah, I wasn't too happy about that panic shot. Usually I don't do that, but I really figured I could have gotten him on the broadside there, but my reaction was way too slow. Okay, so we got some elk. I'm 
That's not really ideal. Uh, there we go. So let's check our wind. Yeah, the wind is not great. But we'll still call him in. But we're going to be ready this time. If we get a nice encounter. Won't let him get that close. Okay, so we got those elk to our left. So I'm not sure where this bear is. Is he in the woods? So out in the open. Because if he comes over that ridge, that'd be perfect. That way I won't have to call him in close and have him smell us. But that shot probably got him in the hip, like in the butt area, so... I just need another call so I can pinpoint him. There we go. Okay, so that's the tricky part now. I need him to come in at a decent distance so he doesn't smell us. But I don't know if he's coming to us. That's a predicament. So what I might have to do is get some eyes on him and just take him. Just because the wind is going from our left to right. These bears are very sensitive. Great, now the elk is directly... Directly in the direction that our bear is. There he is. So I gotta be ready to shoot because he's gonna run off again. Tell this is not going to be good because of all this brush I can't see. Yeah, it's impossible. So it's going to be a freaky shot all over again. If he does run off, then I hopefully we can get a broadside on him. So 
so I'm not going to call them again. Because I have to risk it here. Are you moving away? Jeez. They can be really sneaky, eh? They can be hiding in the brush. They stop. Can't see anything. Very, very bad angle. So I'm going to challenge him. There he is. That was pretty risky. But I'm not hearing any running. There he is. I wonder if that's a new thing. We're not hearing any of the animals running. As they used to, usually they'll be making a whole bunch of noise. But it's not often. So either it's, so either it's a bug or it's something new, but I like it. So now the question is, did we get him? So I was looking around for a little bit, and I was able to find some blood, and it was a good shot. It can be very tricky getting some kind of blood or evidence from these animals. Okay, where did you go? Okay, so that's leading this way. So you went this way. There's our guy. So you really didn't go far. So the first shot in was a panic shot. Right into the intestines there. But that wasn't enough. And then the other, we just chipped just part of that bone. We got into the artery. With that left lung. That probably could have been a bad shot too, but... We clipped that artery a little bit, and I think that kind of helped us. So now we got the male. And as you can see, he's 95%. Oh my gosh. So we had a, a five star on our hands here. So as you can see, to get a respawn like this is going to be hard. Because now we're going to drop the genetic, right? Probably won't move the, the curve that much. I'm hoping, because it's only going to be one herd that I mess up like this. But still, 95%, that hurts. 95.95, .95, I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's tough. That's a tough build to swallow. And he's just a one star. 
So I think in the whole debacle with the female, I was kind of forced to say, you know what, I got to see what this guy is. And it wasn't good. Because the female that approached us, she was just, ha she just happened to be closer to us. And that completely messed my judgment. So now with this male, I'm thinking, I got to pursue him, I got to rush him a little bit. And it cost us. But you take the good with the bad. So we're going to take the L. We're going to take note of that. And that's how the hunt goes. So that's the strategy, guys. Too bad I wasn't successful this time, but at least we took down the male and the female. I didn't want to do that, but that's how it turned out. So we take the good with the bad. But that's the strategy. You want to be able to use the caller, take down the bear, and then we know when he responds. He's a fresh, a fresh respawn, and we gotta hope that he's not a low genetic. Then you can track him from there if he doesn't respond to the caller. And that's really it. For each animal, that's what we want to do. Especially on Ranger, and you kind of want to track that way and kind of make your life a bit, bit more easier or a bit more efficient. But as you can see, it doesn't always work out that way. And we were left empty-handed and some big mistakes. But thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments as we go along this journey of trying to age animals on Ranger. Oh, we heard another guy in the sunset. But as you can see, this pursuit is not for the faint of heart. This is time consuming and we just spent some good time hunting here and the results was not in our favor. But this is what I enjoy. Nothing is guaranteed. You gotta mess up. I won't even call it a mess up, but you gotta experience these kind of hunts where things don't really go your way. You gotta make a judgment call and sometimes it doesn't work out. But thank you for watching and thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video.